हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग टेक्निक्स अगेन टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन और यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न टू डिजाइन हाउ टू ड्रॉ ए पॉलीलाइन ऑन गूगल मैप सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन दैट आप यू कैन स्क्रीन इट ऑन द स्क्रीन हाउ व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू डू सो गाइस बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट देयर आर लिमिटेड पीरियड ऑफर दैट आर गोइंग ऑन इन माय कोर्सेस व्हिच आर अवेलेबल ऑन यूडीएमई सो देयर इज अ फ्री कोर्स आल्सो दैट इज अवेलेबल गो एंड चेक दैट आउट लिंक्स आर देयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन गाइस गो एंड चेक दैट एंड नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विदाउट टुडेस वीडियो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क विद द पॉलीलाइन सो वी आर गोइंग टू work with google maps and draw a polyline from one point to another you have already seen in the intro what exactly we have built so that's what we are going to implement and also we are going to check the duration between the two points how much it is using google maps so for using the google maps i will not show you that part because the video has already been prepared which is already available on youtube i am already sharing the link of my video you can just check at the top corner you will get the i button out there click on that and you will get redirected to that particular video which i have created for javascript google map go and check that out after After you get that, then you can move ahead with this stuff. All right. So in this particular video, at first I will show you how to create a new project. If you do not know, so just a brief description. So Ionic start, then the project name. So let me just give project app, then blank or whichever type. Say there are a few types which you can have. Few templates, default templates, tabs or something else. And finally, dash dash type equals to Angular because many frameworks are available for ionic to work with all right so this is the thing you need to do go ahead ahead and get into the project folder and then you can get started in visual studio code or whichever code editor you are using all right so let's get started now i'll just go to the home page and clean up a lot of stuff out here not exactly i'm going to change this title to draw polyline let's call it in that manner only and translucent i'll just remove it i don't need anything out there not anything called full screen and this thing i'll just remove it up totally cleaned up and you can see the output is showing out here that's great so first thing we have done now scss i'm going to clear everything out here then what am i going to do well i'll create a component and within the component i'm going to create the map out there so for creating a component i'll just open up another shell so in this particular manner and out here i'm going to type ionic g component within the home page only i'm going to create that up and i'll name it as map i'll hit enter all right this is created now once that is created what am i going to do i will simply clear everything and in html what am i going to do let me just show you one by one i will just create a div out here to which i am going to give a class of map and an identifier of map too now with this i am going to work in the typescript one which you have already seen if you have checked the previous video which i am talking about the javascript google maps well i have already shown the same steps but not in the component directly in the home page this time i am breaking it down for the component all right that's the only thing i am doing now before working in the typescript i am going to design it up a bit in the scss well this is the designing which i am going to give i am going to take the full size of the ion content so that uh, the map is properly visible and you can just check or do anything whatever you like to have all right now let's go to the ts file and out here well what am i going to do let me just show you one by one but i think we need to load the map and in order to load the map at first we need to call the service which we used in our javascript google maps one so i need to get the code for that and for doing that up let me open up out here my own video all right i found the video let me open up in new so i'll just go to the description part and i'll get the source code so i'll click on view code and i'll go to the src folder then i what i need exactly is the app folder and within that this services so i need to create the service all right so in the service what exactly do we have we have all the things now let me create a service of same kind why to Uh, copy and paste everything so ionic g service within our services folder i'll create services folder will be created automatically i'll create something called g map service all right let's go for that now this is created okay and the name is not same so i need to take care of it because this is g map okay don't need to worry i'll simply just copy it up well in this particular manner i'll simply copy up till here and paste everything out here replace this g maps with g map okay everything looks good except this environment key which i need to have so once you have your 
API key of Google Maps, then you need to put it in your environment, which I have already shown in that video. And I'm just I'm just putting that up. All right, I won't show you that part. So in this particular manner, I'll put my Google Maps API key in the environment and I'll share in the quotes, single quotes or double quotes, whichever you use, you need to pass your API key. So once that is done, all the errors from this particular service is gone. Now you are simply good to use the service wherever you want to. Now, what am I going to do? Let me close all this at first. So at first, let me use a view child to use the identifier of this particular div. That's what I'm going to call and we are going to work with this later on. Let me just close this, import this whole stuff. Once the importing is done, everything is good to go. Now, in order to get rid of these errors, these are TypeScript errors. So the best way to you get rid of this is go to the tsconfig.json file and change this strict from true to false. So there won't be any strict checking. Now you see the error is gone. Okay. All right. Now the first thing that we need to work with is to load the map. And in order to load the map, I'm not going to load in ng on init. I'm going to load in ng after view init. So let's go for that ng after view init. So this is the lifecycle that I'm going to use in order to call my load map means loading the map. So in order to call the function from our service, we need to inject that service at first. So in the constructor, what am I going to do? Private gmap service is imported, but I need an identifier for that. And let me call it as maps only. Okay. Once that is done, we are going to use this up. Now I'm going to create a function out here called load map in this manner. And we are going to work with that within our trackage block. That is why I'm using async await also so that we don't get any errors. Or if we get, we have a proper solution to catch the errors. Now once that is done, I'll simply load my Google Maps directly from the service. And I'll call this function out here. So this dot load map function. Okay. Now still we don't see anything on the screen because we need to work around with this stuff in order to load the map. So where exactly we want to load the map? We want to load the map in that particular div. So for the div, I need to use this particular one. I need to use the native element, which is actually redirecting to that particular div so that we are, we can use that div in as an element. All right. That is what we have done out here. Then once that is done, now I'm going to create the map. So this, is the thing that I need for the map and I need to pass the latitude and longitude of the source means which is the middle part which I want to send where the map will show up at the very beginning. So I need to pass the center position and for that I need to do something. So let me just do one thing because we need a endpoint and a starting point right the source and the destination so let me just create one so i'll go out here and paste it this is my location one is of delhi i think the second one the destination is noida so that are close by locations you can give anything you want uh, from the google maps you can just get the look latitude and longitude and place it out here as per your requirement all right i'll go ahead and work with this stuff now so in the let i'm going to give this dot source dot let similarly source dot long okay the error is gone and we are good to use this up still we won't see anything because we need to set the center out there in the map one so now i'm going to use what let me just show you well i need to create a source position at first because we need to convert in a let long manner that we can pass at the center means to set the map at the center okay here also i'll just pass the same stuff in this particular manner it's done error is gone and finally we are going to set the map which has to be done in this particular manner because we need to render the add class map visible because out here in the scss i have made the opacity as zero initially if i just don't give that it will still show up i suppose but i just did something for making it visible all right so whenever this thing will be called then it's going to be visible that's what i'm going to do otherwise as soon as you enter the particular page, it's going to load the map and that won't be pretty clean. So that's why I'm doing that. If you want, you can simply change that up. Now for using this renderer, I need to call in the injector private or you can give public also renderer, renderer two. This is the one. All right. The error is gone. Great. Well, nothing is showing up. I think uh, this is not working now and I'll inspect out here. I just gave a console log just to check whether this 
is getting called or not so i'll just check out no still not getting called all right actually i'm making a mistake this is just a component so now everything is ready now in order to check the map what exactly i need to do i need to go to the home page and call this component because we haven't called this component how it's going to work right so in order to work with the home page what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the modules and have this map component in the declaration okay import it once that is done everything is good to go now i can simply call this map out here app map you can see suggestion is coming up in this particular manner and let's check it out there we go you can see the map is loaded properly that's what we have done now we need to place two points the origin and the destination and between that we will draw a polyline let's go for that so I'll go, just go to the map component.ts file and within this only we are going to play around with all this stuff. Now the most important part is to open or enable the direction API in the Google Maps. Okay, so direction service in the Google Maps, you need to enable that up in order to work with it. And for that, Google Map API, you need to go to the API. Well, I'm just doing it little rapidly. You just go through everything. Now go to APIs. Okay, these are my services which I'm using for this particular one which I've just created. Okay, and you simply need to go to directions API. So direction, I think that is needed for working with this. What's wrong? Okay, this is the one direction API and you need to enable it up. Once you enable that up, you can get the directions also. I think that is necessary. Without that also, you just try it up if you don't want to. I think it won't work. You need this up. It's still, uh, as I already had this, so I've just tried it up. But I'm like 90, 95% sure you need this particular API also okay okay so going ahead let me just close all this now we are good to go like working with this stuff so i have already set the map what exactly i need to do next is to have my destination position also out here at first in the similar manner only let me call it dst dion this will be dst this one also be dst fine because we have already set the destination out here Okay, all right, so our destination position is ready. The source position is ready, what is next? Now after the map thing is done, I will work with the direction service. So this is the direction service which I'm going to work with and I need to call this in my properties. So I'll just create two things, direction service and direction display, okay? Now what is the use of that? New Google Maps, direction service it is calling directly and directions renderer it is calling it up. Okay, so to render the directions in the map, in the google maps that is why we are doing all this stuff okay i hope you have understood this part then once that is done i need to have two icons also so i'm not creating icon myself i'll just directly take it from the maps itself well let me just show you how I've, have i got that via the url this is the manner so these are the two links or urls which i have used one is for the source icon url the second one is for the destination if you don't want that you can simply create your own pass the url out here or even the assets one also out there also you can keep it up okay now the next thing is to change the sizes of this icon url okay and then we are going to prepare the marker also for source and destination both so let's do that up now after this is done let me just do everything out here before setting the map I will just paste few code where the first one is for the source icon where I am just getting the URL then the scale size how much it's gonna be then the origin point okay and the anchor where it will show up so similarly for the destination also the same the scale one is the same just the URL one is different that's it once that is done we are placing the markers or setting the markers I would say not placing right now on the map where the position will be the source position okay there will be drop animation then this is the icon which we have prepared out here for the source one similarly for the destination one also we are going to do the same once that is done we need to set this particular points in the map let's do that up all right in order to set this up i'll simply set map and you can see these two things got dropped the yellow color and the red color if you want to change the color of the yellow one i think you will have the option out here i suppose let me just try it up so these are the urls that are responsible for these two icons okay you can change the size as per your requirement out here these two are looking good now the next thing which i need to work with is the link 
via a line or a polyline I would say between the two points. Let's go for that now. Now after this I need to set the directions display on the map in this particular manner. Then I'm going to set the options for displaying it up. What will be the stroke color, the line color basically, how much will be the opacity and how much will be the thickness of it. So that's what I have set out here. Then the surface markers to be true. That's okay. The other markers, it won't show up. That's the point. Okay, so this is ready. Now we need to just do a few more stuff and our line will be ready. Let's go for that. So the next stuff I'm going to do in a different function and I'm going to call it function as let me just do this dot draw polyline or you can just call it route also though draw the route between the two points but let me call the polyline only so draw polyline this will be my function and why I have used await out here because I don't want this function to be called after setting the map I want to call this before setting the map so that everything is ready when the map is loaded up properly all right so within this particular function what exactly I'm going to do let me just show you one by one so I'm going to set the route within our direction service. This is the one dot route and where I'm going to pass few options. So the options are going to be this particular one. So I'm going to pass the source in the origin and for the destination I'm going to pass this dot DEST actually. All right. And travel mode I have given driving then provided route alternatives. I have set it to true so that you can get other alternatives also the shortest route I think that is what it means. Now after this options we have one more thing which is for the response and status this is the one which I pasted just now so we will get the response and status if the status is okay then the display map dot set direction will be set to this particular response because it's going to accept what okay it's not giving up out here don't need to worry then we are going to get the directions data within which we have the duration also okay which we have logged it up so you can simply check what is there in the response console.log response okay and let me just remove everything from here else console.log state that's what I'm going to do all right so now you can see this polyline is showing up that's pretty great we can see a blue line which is showing up if you want to change it you can simply go to where was it this is the one let me change it to red you will see a red color now got it so this is how you can play around I'll just give blue for the time being so that's how it is showing up now the important thing to understand is this particular part so if the status is okay then only it's going to go ahead otherwise it's not going to go ahead all right that's what I have shown out here then in the response let's see what exactly do we get let me inspect it up I'll just check it out here so in the response this are the stuff we are getting not exactly or do we let's check it out here I'll just have the response in this particular manner then it's going to be great to understand what exactly we're getting so this is the response and in that we got the geo coded waypoint all right that's great then the request destination origin and okay everything is showing up that's great how many routes are there between the points maybe that are the things and at last we have this data and out here we can see one hour one minute is the duration between the two how we got the duration from the routes let me just go to the routes and to the zero position the first route that is possible i think it is showing the different different routes which is uh which can be taken up all right but i have taken only one route which is the first one so in this let's go to lex and then let's go to the duration so this is the duration and this is the distance you can get the distance also okay and this is the address where you need to go or which is selected by the latitude and longitude which i have selected actually so this are the stuff which you get when you work with this particular polyline okay I hope you have understood a lot many stuff out here how exactly you need to do if you have any doubt the first thing I would like to tell you is to try this up and try different combinations whichever you like uh, to understand and if still you are not clear then you can simply let me know in the comment section and I'll help you out don't need to worry about it. okay so with this our video comes to an end this is the stuff which I wanted to show you everything is given in detail how you exactly need to do out here okay I would recommend to check the JavaScript Google Maps video whose link I have already shared in the description and you can get from the i button also. Alright friends you have seen how we have drawn the polyline on the Google Maps. 
So I hope you have learned a lot of stuff within this. So with this, I'll wrap up this video out here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.